Okay, everybody, I'd like to introduce you to George Cow here. Give him, give him a wave or visual applause. <laughs> so just so you know, uh, George, I, I'm in George's year-long Master Heart program, um, and I love his work on authentic business and authentic marketing. And he has a lot of free materials that he gives away on his Facebook page and Instagram and his website. And he has a few or many actually uh, video classes for sale. And then he has a year long membership and he gives so much. I'm really, really moved by how much he gives and um, pay attention to his his beliefs and more about business. So George, welcome. Thank you so much, Katie and Jesse and everybody. Really honored to be here with you. Um, I'm just, I'm an open book really. So uh, please feel free to ask me anything. Um, I guess maybe, uh, Katie, should I just start with what authentic business is or how, how, would you, how should I start? Well, actually, if it's okay with you, I'd like you, I'd like to ask about um, authentic business and, and any ability you have that you think is really different from other people. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. This. I, that's a really good question, and I think I think uh, one ability I, that I've noticed that I've cultivated over the years, which I'm grateful to be able to say, because um, I, I used to. F I remember growing up, going through school, college, uh, young adulthood, and I just always felt like I was the one getting in my own way. Um, like, I'm like, no matter what, I can't succeed because it's me. I can't, I can't break through. And I, I think, I don't know, just like maybe bit by bit over the years, um, I developed the ability to, uh, I guess some, I guess in business, they just say, you know, just ship it, you know, like just launch, just go ahead and put it out there, whether it's, whether it's literally a product, you know, launch or whether it's making a social media post that's a bit vulnerable or I'm not sure if it's going to work, meaning if people are going to understand it, people might even crit crit critique it, criticize it. And I think over the years, having developed the ability to just put it out there, take a few deep breaths and, or, you know, the other side of the ability is, um, I, I, do, I do so many video calls, um, whether I'm teaching something and Katie, you do as well, um, whether I'm teaching something or I'm, you know, doing a Q and A in a group and probably all of us have experienced this afterwards, you're, <laughs> you regret something you said, um, <laughs> or like, you know, you could have said something better. You could have said something in a more gracious way or a um, smarter way later on, you realize, you know, and that's the other side of the the other side of the coin is like just letting it go and almost um <laughs> it's all almost like challenging life to 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 say well let's see what happens you know <laughs> and and there's always another chance uh, anyway so that's i would say that's the uh, ability that i've had to cultivate over the years which has served me very well in business and in um yeah what i do Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, George. And so just so you know, I'm taking a few notes and the group is as well. Um, so we're just, we're, we're learning about modeling an exemplar. You're the exemplar. And, um, and so we're, we're taking notes as we go. Okay. So this ability is, um, is the ability to just launch, to just put it out there, whether it's a product or a post and then letting it go. And then also what happens afterwards when you think, oh, I, I could have said it better or done it better. Um, and, and that ability to just, just say, let's see what happens and, yeah. and let it go. Yeah. In, that, in other words, it's kind of like a just launch, you know, practice as well. It's like I've launched my presence in that previous call and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, I see. I see. So it's a just launch. It's even a practice. Yeah, a just yeah. launch practice at all at multiple points in this whole thing of launching it and letting it go. And then afterwards, um, if you wonder, you know, oh, could I have said that better? Yeah. Let it, you know, just launching that, letting that go too. 
Totally, because we can we, we, we could always have said it better. <laughs> the more we think about it and analyze it, we could have done it better. We could have said it better. We could have shown up better. Of course, we could have. There's always you know, the more we think, the more better we it could have been. But what happened happened. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I think that this ability, your people perceive you as very prolific. Uh, people well, perceive because you, just launch <laughs> right and i and now i can see why because yeah. you you have that just launch practice yeah. so of course you can make multiple videos in a week and right. and a brand new video course a month or more yeah. Yeah. um because you just launch yeah letting it go okay i have more questions um so uh, if someone was watching from the outside in a non-stalker way, in a friendly way, um, what would they see you doing from on the outside? What would they actually see or hear you doing mm. to have in your just launch practice? Yeah, um, that's interesting. I think if you were, yeah, you know, I, I've always, I've always had this fantasy, like one day I'm going to have a service where like I literally go to someone's house and just hang out with them for a whole week, like sleep there and like, just like, <laughs> all right, let me, let me like, just watch what you're doing. You can watch what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I guess kind of like this, like modeling. Right. And, and so I, I have had that thought, like, yeah, if, if you could just sit right here by me and we could just work all day, that'd be great because then we'll, we'll, we'll influence each other. You know, um, I, one thing I do um, throughout my day, my working day a lot is what I call my energy reboot. You probably know about this. And I think they're, that's, that's something, well, because obviously what they're going to see me doing is probably what everyone does at the computer. They just type, <laughs> they type okay. and they wait and then they type and they wait. You know? <laughs> but, but what's weird that they go, what, what, what's he doing? Like every 20 minutes or so, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes every five minutes, I'll do this. And by the way, all of you who are here can find my video about the energy reboot. Uh, if you just Google energy reboot, if you go to Google and search those two words, I'm grateful that Google knows about my energy reboot and puts it all the way up there. So um, yeah, they're gonna see me do the energy reboot, which is basically a series of breaths uh, holding my heart and then like a quick stretch. And that allows me to, I guess, reset myself multiple times a day and actually a couple times an hour so that I'm reset and I can continue with the thing I'm launching whatever that may be so okay great so if we watch from the outside there would be some typing and waiting yeah. and, then, <laughs> and then we would see you do the energy reboot with the yes. breaths and holding heart and the stretch yeah. yeah and you said five every five to 20 minutes Every five to 20 minutes, I mean, sometimes I'm in a roll or I forget or I'm tired and it might you know, go to 30 to 40 minutes before I'm like, wait, I haven't done one in a, in a, in a while. And the energy reboot, the reason why I can do it so often is because it's like 20 to 30 seconds, sometimes even less. It's so fast for me. And so I have no excuse not to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's great. That's great. I, I, the way I think about it, really, the way I originally thought about it, it's like, like, you know, I'm kind of a religious person or spiritual person. It's like, it's like God deserves 30 seconds from me every couple of times an hour. God deserves that much. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah. Or you could say my higher self deserves that or my, um, my ability to show up or my, my presence in the world deserves that kind of reset, you know? So, yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. That's really helpful. Um, yeah, God deserves 30 seconds every 20 minutes or hour. <laughs> deserves 24-7. <laughs> but if I can at least do 30 seconds twice an hour. <laughs> oh, that's really helpful. Thank you, George. Um, okay, great. And so um, in your world, how is the energy reboot related to the, the just launch practice? So, um, yeah, no, that's a really good question. I, I think the energy reboot essentially for me is about returning to the faith that it's all going to be okay. Um, that 
I am being guided and led in a much longer journey um, than I can imagine and uh, guided in ways that I would be, if I knew, I'd be incredibly grateful for. So, um, and that things are, are kind of falling into place, you know, not necessarily exactly at the way I want it, but of course, only with hindsight do we, <laughs> do we see that we get what we need, what, not what we want. And so the energy reboot is that thing for me. It's that touch and check in point to say, this is just a moment in this tiny life where uh, I'm just trying to bring as much presence as I can, light and love into this moment. And, uh, and so therefore the whole launching thing, so how does this relate to launching? Well, well, the energy reboot gives me the courage to launch, right? Okay. And, and, but, but why launch so often is that's more an entrepreneurial mindset of, I don't know what is going to be helpful for the world unless the world gets to have the opportunity to say yes or no to that mm -hmm. thing, whether that thing is, is a piece of writing or a video or a product, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And, and when this, what's, what, tell, say yes. more. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the humble, well, I think when entrepreneurship, and, and by the way, I know some of you are, um, are not like in your own business, but you know, even in an organizational setting, um, you are an intrapreneur in that you are always bringing ideas to, to the table in some way. Um, if you want to be creative in your organization, you have to bring some ideas, you know, um, however you do it, you're doing your own. So the entrepreneurial or intrapreneurial mindset is, I think at best, a humble offering to say, hey, um, I'm wondering if this will resonate with you. Let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's this rather than, oh my God, I, I, I just walked a hundred miles carrying this hundred pound load. You better, you better damn like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, otherwise I'm going to be pissed or, or sad. <laughs> or devastated if you don't like it because all this work I did, which unfortunately is what I've done in the past. Mm -hmm. um, uh, before my just launch mindset, I used to work way too hard on every launch. I get exhausted. And if, if it doesn't have the kind of results sales-wise you know, that I expected, then I'm just depressed <laughs> you know, for a while. And so after the giant ups and downs of that kind of entrepreneurship, I realized, wait a second, it's so strange. Like I can work a lot less and yet sometimes the results are just, are even better. And so, yeah, that's why it's like this. Like this is meaning like, hey, I just spent an hour or a month uh, putting this together. You know, it's okay if you don't like it because got 11 more months this year or you know or i've got five more months whatever but I, I still have the rest of my life you know i'll just keep doing this right yeah okay thank you yeah and the and the you know i'm wondering if this will resonate with you i think is is uh really um aligned with with that just launch so so how often do you launch something how often do you just let something go yeah you know Product wise, I used to last month, well, actually, even this year thus far, I've pretty much been launching every month, but I've been launching a new product every month for gosh, four or five years now. Um, probably, probably four years straight, um, even in December. You know, at December, sometimes December, I will, I will take off. But basically, 10 to 11 months of the year, I am launching something, a product. Now that's a product which takes at least you know five six hours of putting together the you know the sales page and and putting it out there and uh, and prior to that probably just months of brainstorming it and just putting notes every now and then um, so that's the product uh, in terms of the but in terms of launching you know in a bigger sense of the word I am posting um, you know two videos a week 
just social media, free videos, two videos a week, and um, three uh, posts, written posts per week. So like five social media things per week that, mm-hmm. you know, took me some time. I mean, it took me sometimes t- half an hour, sometimes an hour. And, you know, and, and it's out there. And it's out there probably forever because of how social media works. People can take screenshots or whatever. And so, in other words, I allow myself to potentially be embarrassed five times a week. Okay. Okay. Yeah, to launch. To (laughs) To launch, exactly. And then then let go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, Okay. So... um, what do you do when when the just launch practice isn't working for you? Oh, okay. So it's interesting. I mean, when you say it isn't working, I think, well, I have had, you know, you say, George, you, you launch 10, 11 products a year. Do they all do well? No, of course not. Um, some of them, I'm... Well, when they don't do well, I'm, of course, always surprised (laughs) because I wouldn't put something out there. I mean, same thing with an article or a video. I wouldn't put something out there unless I thought I was brilliant, right? Or at least at least I thought it was helpful. Why would (laughs) I put it out there otherwise? It's going to be helpful. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be good, whatever. And when people don't get it, right, right, I think, oh, people didn't get it. No, it's not that people didn't get it. It's I didn't understand people well enough. I didn't understand my audience well enough. That's, it's always that. It's not never that they didn't get it. It's always, I didn't understand them well enough. And I presented this at the wrong time. Maybe I'm a little bit ahead of you know, the, the times right now, or uh, I'm, I need to communicate in a language that's more clear and understandable in a context of, of life or whatever, an example that is much more readily consumable. So um, when it doesn't work, uh it's when it's when i'm learning yet again like i can't be too prideful thinking that whatever i put out there should do well no it's 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 always a dance with the other and it's always um an inquiry forever an inquiry into is does, does that make sense you know yeah yeah, yeah. Totally well, I mean, but that that's that's the inquiry and i'm asking you yeah. does that make sense <laughs> <laughs> it's very congruent, very aligned. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. So did you um, did you do the just launch today, for example, or yesterday? Well, I would say right now <laughs> in this okay, great call is a kind of a just launch mentality because um, you know, I, I well, the way we discuss like, hey, you know, show up, and you know, be, be authentic. Just, just you know, share share your best practices and whatever. I'm like, sure, you know, go for, let, let let's do this. And yeah. Um, yeah, so every conversation is like a for me like a just launch. So that that allows me therefore to to bring my all and to not hold back. Yeah. Um, and knowing that hey, it may or may not work, but here I am. Nice. So. Thank you. Um, so could you choose like an example from today, other than this call today sure. or yesterday, whatever yeah. your social media post, we don't even have to know what the post was. Mm-hmm. If you think about when you were doing the just launch for that, um, what's the, you got, you have something in mind? From- uh, yeah. So, I mean, today I made a post as I do most uh, every, every Thursday. So that was a bit of a just launch. Like, well, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see how people, how people like it. And I have to, of course, uh, you know, pr- pr- prevent myself from checking every five seconds you know, or five <laughs> minutes. I'm like, okay, all right. I put it out there. All right. Let me just, let me wait an hour before I, I look at to see if people liked it. So that's one thing. But the nice. other thing I'm, is I'm literally this week is the pre-launch of my next product. And so I'm literally in that mode right now of like, okay, it's been 24 hours since I made the post, how many sales are coming in? And what helps me with, you know, when I used to just in the beginning, when I used to do this, I used to get so nervous. I'm like, oh my God, is is people going to buy this? Is it going to be worth it? Am I going to have to cancel this thing? What's going on? Over Over time, I realized, okay, there is always a pattern if we're willing to step back and track the data. There's always some pattern over time. So I started mm-hmm. tracking the data for, oh, 24 hours after I make the first post, uh, 
there's this many sales, there's this many sales, there's this many sales. I see. Nice. So now I have dozens of data points to say, okay, 24 hours after I post it, there's usually two sales or six sales or four, maybe the average is six. Right now it happens that the average happens to be six. And right now we're 24 hours in and it's been six sales. And yet by the end, I know when the class starts, it's going to be 50 or 60 people, even though 24 hours. In the, you know. And so it's like the, the data allows me to relax and go, okay, okay. I, that's a pattern. It's the, everything has, a, has an arc to it, you know? So. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Using the data, the data allows you to relax yes. because you know yes. what, what it, it means. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Um, okay. So um, I, uh, we work with metaphors a lot. Yeah. So, um, so this, the just launch practice, what's it like? And you could be creative or even use just launch with it and brainstorm if you want to. What is that practice? or approach what's it like for you you know I I immediately think of like I'm like you know I, I walk my dog every day and you know we turn the corner well obviously we in our neighborhood even we just you know we just kind of go around the neighborhood and every corner we turn I don't know if there's going to be another dog out to like rein him in <laughs> you know and like because my dog gets really excited and kind of so it's 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 like it's that feeling of oh I don't know what's around the corner and we're going to turn and I'm going to look and, um, you know, and sometimes turn the corner and it's just a really nice scenery. Sometimes um, I see that, oh, I got, there's a crowd of people. I got to be careful. And, you know, and so, um, yeah, anyway, that's just, that kind of came to mind right away. Um, and um, I think another, yeah. And, and sometimes we go for, for bigger walks um, in, in the park, my wife and I with the dog. And we never know if it's like going to be too windy when we get there because it's like by the by the seaside. And sometimes we get it so windy that the sand blows in our face and it's really unpleasant. But we're like, we, who knows? <laughs> we're going to just go because the dog needs to walk anyway. And if it's too windy, we won't go very long. If it's not, then it's going to be a beautiful day. And so it's kind of like, uh, well, let's let's see. It's it's that kind of feeling. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like turning a corner, like turning the corner. The yeah, yeah. Don't know what's good, what's there. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, two more questions. Uh, sure, kind sure. of brief. Uh, yeah. One is uh, if the just launch practice um, is the is is the answer. What's the question it answers? Oh wow, that's a good one. Um, Jeopardy here, right? So the <laughs> yeah. question, Alex. <laughs> For a thousand dollars, will be um, how do we know? Yeah, how do we know? Or 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 similar question is, will this work out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. And, and then um, finally. Uh, one thing with this short form of, of questions and modeling that's really common is that after we part ways and go on to our next adventure, it's very common that the person answering the questions in your position later thinks, ah, oh, I should have told Katie this one thing. <laughs> of course. It's, I, I guarantee you there will be. <laughs> so if we could just like play like that was happening now, like we had parted ways and it had come to your mind. And so is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? Wow, a little, a little bit of time traveling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of time traveling. Um, I think that, um, yeah, I think, I think I'll, I'll come back to this, this you know, belief or faith that I have. And I don't know if it's faith or it's simply the observation of reality, which is that it's going to be okay. Um, which is the underpinning of the whole just launch methodology. It's like, it's going to be okay. And we could take it two ways. Either if we are, you know, spiritual people, we could say, well, it's going to be okay because there's a greater power that is holding us and making sure it's, you know, where we're being guided and led and lifted. And yeah. And from a more secular perspective, we're going to say, well, it's going to be okay because what other choice do we have? 
<laughs> you know, what other, <laughs> what other choice do we have? We can either say it's going to be okay or it's going to be a disaster. Well, which one is a more <laughs> empowering perspective? Um, because we don't know, right? Like even a beautiful day like this, a comet can strike, you know, an asteroid can strike our home. And then, you know, right? like, <laughs> like we don't know. And so because we don't know, uh, let's take on an empowering perspective that, well, I'm just going to have faith, right? Even from the secular perspective, that it's going to be okay. And I'm just, because I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's time. We're, we're, we're going to say thank you to you, um, George, so much. So, uh, yeah. So just some visual applause, everybody, for George. And George, thank, thank you. you for your presence. Thank you so much. Here. What a Appreciate joy. Thank you. Your presence and uh, yeah. your attention. Appreciate you. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll say bye for now then. And yeah. So and thank you. Thank you, you Jesse. Thanks, Katie. Okay. Thanks, everybody.